Hey y'all, today we're gonna break down uh, Diabo Saltist um, LD50H. All right, so let's just get right to it. <coughs> I'm gonna leave the handle on and just remove this right side by undoing these four screws. Put out like that. I'm gonna take off some of these pieces, but I'm not doing the um, the clicker. I just don't like them. <laughs> I don't know. Those eclipses kind of kill me sometimes. Uh, but I think it's pretty straightforward if you can see that. If you need a reference for how it goes in, that's how it looks. And I'm also going to remove this plate as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do this side and then we'll put some things back on and get rid of this. I'm gonna add some grease to, well, that's a lot, to the clicker. Also, a little bit of grease here where the, uh, the shaft will sit. Not a whole lot. Then add some grease for these holes where those posts will go. And then just put those back in. I'm also going to add some oil to these these treads here and just get the bracket back on now we can also go ahead and put this plate on <laughs> the way this sits is just like this. Well, not like that, but just with that little notch or indentation facing down. And it sits like this. While I'm here, I'm going to add some grease to all these points right here. That looks good. All right, so let's get to this part now. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold on to this, to the uh, shaft here. I'm gonna undo this knob to get this pull off. Now I'll undo this handle. Push the uh, main gear out, and we can pop up this bearing. I 
and the anti-reverse I think you may have to press that out <coughs> so I'm not going to remove that either nor am I going to play with the dog itself again there's a dog if you need a reference for how it sits but I'm going to grease certain areas in here I'm going to set all this stuff to the side this is the tension and let's get rid of all these things <coughs> and let's break these down there's a bearing on the other side of here we're going to pop that out after we unscrew these to remove this uh, the shaft here it's um, counterclockwise so reverse so turn this way to remove it I'm sorry you gotta turn to the right no I had it right the first time yeah, to the right to remove it, sorry. That comes up like that. And then you have this pin that needs to come out to remove the, uh, <clears throat> the washer and, and the bearing. So we're going to do the spool, we'll break that down and then we're going to put it back together and then we'll work on the rest of these things. <coughs> the drag itself does not come out. It's glued to the, to the spool itself. I'm going to take that spring off. We're going to undo these three screws to remove that clicker plate. it out like this or pull wherever you're looking at it how it is that post does not come out okay so let's put it back together <clears throat> I'm gonna grease inside here where the bearing will sit and on this side as well Add some grease here And now I'm going to grease these tension washers here. And add a little bit of grease to the, uh, the spring and to the shaft.
I like to add some grease to these holes like this. And then we can put everything back on. <coughs> Hold on one second. So first is the tension washer. Uh, you're gonna have these situated in a concave to convex configuration, so it's like a flying saucer. Like that. Then we'll stick the washer on. And next is the bearing. Let's go ahead and stick that through. Oops, wrong way. I'm going to cover this up while I'm here. <clears throat> Make sure you snug these down pretty good. Alright, so let's go ahead and add the some of the stuff off here in a sec. Let's go ahead and add the um, the bearing, <coughs> and then the spring. And we're pretty much done with the spool itself. Let's go ahead and get this plate, and we'll put this back together. So I'm gonna grease. around these areas here. And the way this goes on is the holes that are kind of indented will be the ones that are facing up so it goes through like that. that bearing back inside. And now we can jump to this side over here. <clears throat> okay now I didn't show you this when I took this off but there are two washers that are that sit underneath that pinion. Alright so I'll add some grease to this. I like to add grease here as well. To where the bearing will sit. Also on the other side where this bearing will sit. And now we can put this main gear back together. Add a light amount of grease to both sides. Grease to here and to up here. I don't have any grease right there because this is where the uh, the end of our first clutch um, sits. I'm going to add some grease from my fingers to this, then I'm going to add a blob and a blob. Wipe the residual grease off onto these uh, shims or these washers here. And now we'll grease the uh, pinion gear up. OK, 
get some of that on my fingers rub that in <coughs> and for this as well all right so let's put the main gear back together they're even on both sides so you can use whichever side let's get our bearing and put that on next goes the washer and where's our post now we gotta put our post in there like so then just stick it through and lock it down again it's reverse threaded so to screw on you're going to go backwards or counterclockwise Alright, that's that for the main gear. Now we can start putting these things back together. Let's go ahead and put the bearing inside for the uh, for the pinion. Put the other bearing inside as well. And now I'm gonna put this main gear in. And then add the end, the handle to it. So we get this cap, add some grease inside there. And stick that on, and I'm gonna add some grease here as well. I'm just gonna hand tighten this right now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lock it down the entire way yet. Now we can take these two shims, drop them on top of the uh, the pinion bearing, and the way this will sit is there's a squared end and just a round end. The round end will be facing down. Just gonna work that in like that, and I forgot to grease this, so let's do that really quickly. this piece is going to sit with the fatter end facing down towards the pinion so like so make sure it, it fits on there because it's uh, keyed those that square so make sure it fits all the way down and now we can put the ratchet on Put the ratchet on you have to kind of just angle this between the leaves and then rotate it over like that all right i'm gonna rest it down for a second add the post to this end so we can stick that inside the uh <coughs> inside the get that post in and the way it sits is just like that get that inside and <clears throat> for this part you want that squared area to fit inside that squared area of the of the ratchet and that's not always easy so the way you can tell if you're in there or not 
So hold on to that pinion bearing, don't touch this plate. And spin the handle. Notice how that thing is wobbling? That means we're not set. Sometimes just doing this, it'll fall in place. But obviously, we're not so lucky right now. Let me clean this up a little bit really quickly. So you can kind of just play with it from underneath. And sometimes it works. It doesn't always work. But you'll know you're set when you're just cranking this and it's just a pretty straight revolution. There's another way to tell if you're set and that's by uh, when you put this together. If that uh, spool end of the spool doesn't stick through with not a lot of pressure then you're not set in place. You'll find it's really tight to set that down. So let's go ahead and lock this up and then we'll finish up the rest of it. Adding grease to these holes here and just some on top of this. These are just the bumpers for the um, <clears throat> for the lever. And to remove those, all you do is just screw that out, put them back in, just screw it back in. I'm going to add some grease on top of those holes and then just wipe it off. Like that. Okay, so now we can this part, which is just the last part of it. I'm going to grease under here. Here. This cam. And I don't put too much grease on this stuff. doesn't really need it. Mm, I didn't show you the clicker part. Uh, to remove that clicker part, uh, you need to undo this retaining clip here and then squeeze the the clicker portion or the tooth or whatever you want to call that itself to bring it up. If you take it out and you need to put it back in just remember that this pointed end goes through the thinner not the wider slot on this piece here. Adding some grease to this as well. And the last part I'm going to add grease to is right here. And now we can just get this finished up. Drop it in like that. And let's get our washer on there. Stick that in towards the uh, free spool area. Match up the or line up the grooves like so. On with the spring, and now we can just press that down and screw it in. Sometimes easier said than done. 
you kind of have to ride that over the uh, over the clicker to get it on there. All right, let me tighten this down and we'll test the reel out. Okay, so let's test the uh, the free spool first. And that looks good. Next up the drag. Pop up a too much. <laughs> nice. Clicker. And that's pretty much it. What else did I miss? Nope, that's it. Alright guys. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps some of you guys out there. Uh, if you liked it, uh, please hit the like button. Also, please feel free to make comments, let your friends know about the channel. Uh, and be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification on uh, on my channel so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Alright, thanks again for watching and I will see you all next time.